Hey, hi everyone, uh, welcome back. My name is Praveen Balan. Today in this video, we are going to speak about how can you configure Kiosk profile from Intune and onboard few PCs for your organization requirement as a Kiosk machine with Microsoft Edge as the single application when the Kiosk machine boots up. We have two options in Kiosk, right? One is multi-app Kiosk, the other one is single app. In this video, I'm going to focus more on the single app kiosk configuration with fairly easy couple of steps uh, or couple of configuration profile setup. And then we will attach that or apply that into a machine that we onboarded into Intune and make that machine as a kiosk machine. The processes are very, very straightforward. If you look at um, the requirement from um, article perspective, it clearly articulates that you need to create a kiosk profile to run a device into kiosk mode and secondly you have to create a device restriction profile for a specific features that you need to apply in, in this video i'm going to create a kiosk profile plus i'm going to create an edge restriction policy or the edge kiosk policy that will also be applied to a device and then we'll boot up the device into the kiosk mode if you look at I have a device which is kiosk 1 CG that that is the device that I'm going to use to convert it into a kiosk um, booting option so for which I have created a group a device group and wherein which I'm going to add the kiosk device into it once I add the device into the group I'll, I'll leave the group there now we have to create couple of profile that I mentioned right a while ago you create a new profile with kiosk template name it according to your need put a description if you wish to it's always recommend to create a good description so that it makes your life easier on a longer run and then you'll have to choose which mode it is is it a single app or a multi app I'm going to go with single app in this video do you want to perform an auto login so when you create an auto login it will create a local account onto the pc with a blank password then at, when you boot the device it will automatically do a login and launch the application that we set so in this case i'm going to use the application as edge browser and if you want to put a home url you can do that i'm going to put my youtube channel page and what in what mode the kiosk gets needs to work right so i'm going to use with private browsing and the refresh interval like how frequently you want to refresh the browser if not used right and then that's all you need to configure it is fairly easy anybody can do it then assign the group that we created as an included group section and then finish the reset So that completes the configuration profile setup for the kiosk. Now let's create an edge profile. You can go to the create profile section again and then choose the service catalog and click create and then add the settings. Name it according to your choice again. Put a proper description and then click on add settings and choose the kiosk edge configuration. If you want to choose few of the settings you can do that I'm going to choose select all and then pick up the policy that I want to modify it's up to you how do you want to configure the restriction policy into your kiosk mode to start with and then assign the profile towards the same group that we created a while ago for the kiosk machine and then apply it and then then complete the profile creation with that now rather than waiting for the profile to be applied automatically on the regular sync we can go back to the pc and initiate a force sync to ensure the device gets a policy faster you can leave it for it to sync normally it's up to you how do you want to do it i'm going to force to a i'm going to do a force synchronization to ensure that i get the profile much faster and and maybe you may have to do a couple of times again wait for like 10 15 minutes before you attempt to sync so that the backend Azure application completes properly, right? So once you're able to see that the kiosk browser pro browser policies are all there, which means 
the policies are all applied and you can also go back to the computer account section the user section and see if the local account is created kiosk user 0 which confirms that the profile is applied successfully and then you can take a reboot of the machine and post the reboot it should log in automatically to the kiosk mode and then open the edge browser with our home url that we set in in, in this case i've set my youtube channel as a home screen so it should start the youtube channel page automatically on the edge on a private browsing window you can see it now the device is booted up with the edge profile with private window and my the url that we set during the configuration is also loaded um, so it's fairly straightforward again this is only the basics of how can you configure kiosk right and one thing that you need to remember if you're doing this testing it on a hyper-v machine ensure that you always run the hyper-v onto the basic session in order for the auto login to work properly right other than that this is only very basic configuration that we do for kiosk you can do a much more detailed configuration in order to make it more secure and all and these are all small small profile changes according to your needs and all i will leave it to you how do you want to configure it but these are the basics that you need to configure in order to ensure that the kiosk works perfectly um, if you like the video ensure that you click on subscribe button if you want to get notified about my new videos click on the bell icon as well and in case if you have any comments or queries regarding the kiosk configuration do not forget to write down in the comment section i will try to respond as much as possible with that not it's praveen i'm signing off again we'll be back with another video very soon till then bye bye